Okay. Um, we're going to, to show you guys about the hybrid classes because we saw the the need to to have a hybrid classes. If you if you are giving a lecture and there are some persons in in in, in the room in the class and some persons in, in home. So in the teacher's journey, you 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 press in the plus button and you start hybrid hybrid classes. And we'll, here's the QR code that, sorry, the second QR code that will head the, the students to the hybrid classes journey. Just a second. Here. Can you let camera start? Okay. So, like we presented yesterday, the student will be able to open this hybrid class element in the um, mobile and app just in the mobile browser. So, he can uh, log in with his name, or we can add other login options to better um, capture the, um, his statistics and stuff like that. So, you put your name and you enter the class. Um, so in this hybrid class mode, you have four options of, um, of functions, the polls, the questions, the chat and presentation. You can also, if someone, for example, arrives late to class and needs to access the hybrid class, but the teacher has already closed the window, you can share the QR code with your classmate. And so the polls. Uh, like we said yesterday, because of Figma um, limitations, they, the polls will probably just open up automatically when the teacher starts one. But right now, we just clicked. And so the poll starts, you just answer. And after a while, it closes automatically because your answer was sent to the teacher. For questions, we have a system of you being able to send questions uh, with your name because you are logged in or anon anonymously. So we can just okay. Has everybody, has everybody seen the screen share? Okay. So you can send your question in here. You can also vote for questions so that they can go up, and then you can see what questions more students are interested in. So right now I'm going to vote for this one, and now it has 14 upvotes, and it went to the top. This other question was already answered, so it's kind of like faded. Um, you can also access the chat, which is very normal. But now the students can actually communicate between being a present in the class or being at home. So if anyone has, I don't know, a question, you can talk with themselves. And you also are able to uh, watch the presentation. And if the teacher has a need, can everyone just like write down something in the whiteboard? You can use the whiteboard. And because you are in this um, on mobile, you can full screen the presentation to see better when you rotate your phone. Then you can use whiteboard. And you can also react during presentation so that the teacher can see your reactions. <coughs> In here? Yeah, no. And in the home, we also have the reaction button to be more easily accessible and the raising hand action so that the, the teacher can see the same line of students raise their hands, even if they are at home and if they are at the class. So he doesn't really need to see, okay, someone just uh, raised their hand in the class, in the conference, or no, this one in the class present raised their hand first. You can do everything in the same place. And that's it. The idea of this, just uh, one last word. Okay. <laughs> the, the idea of this, Sorry. The idea is to give the people who are studying from home as the same uh, opportunity for the people as the people who are at the same class as the teacher. So uh, people who are uh, uh, at home can use the the tools that we already use in the conference. But people who are 
in the same room as the teacher have the the technology to to do the same thing that people who are not in, in the same room so the this is a very nice way to get data from physical places and from remote places that, that's it <laughs> now it's gone <laughs>